questions. Next mathematical concept is comparison. I want to share some examples. First example is x e to the power y is equal to 1. Find x and y. Okay. Don't take any log to both sides. For this, you write x e to the power y is equal to 1 into e to the power 0. e to the power 0 is equal to 1. So, 1 into 1 is equal to 1. So, now, both sides can be compared. x is compared with this one and e to the power y can be compared with e to the power 0. So, in comparison, the conjunction will be used and, okay, not or. So, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. The base are same, e, e, e to the power y, e to the power 0. Powers are respectively y and 0. So, y is equal to 0. So, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0, okay. Next comparison and the example is find alpha if alpha plus 1 whole x is equal to alpha x square plus x. Okay. For this, you write 0 x square plus alpha plus 1 whole x is equal to alpha x square plus x. So, I have just arranged with respect to right, right side. x square on the left side also x square. x on the left side also x. So, you can compare both sides. In comparison, you have to use only the conjunction and not or. This is x, this is x. So, compare the coefficients respectively. So, 0 is equal to alpha. That means alpha is equal to 0 and alpha plus 1 is equal to 1. The coefficient of x is 1. Here the coefficient of x is alpha plus 1. So, alpha plus 1 is equal to 1. Or again, alpha is equal to 0 and alpha is equal to 0. So, see that alpha is equal to 0 and alpha is equal to 0. So, common of both of these solution is alpha is equal to 0. So, the value of alpha is equal to 0. The value of alpha is equal to 0. Again, I repeat. 0 x square plus alpha plus 1 whole x is equal to alpha x square plus x. Just compare the coefficients of x square and the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x square on the left side is 0. On the right side, this is alpha. So, alpha is equal to 0. And the coefficient of x on the left side is alpha plus 1. And the coefficient of x on the right side is equal to 1. So, from these, alpha is equal to 0 as usual and from this one, alpha is equal to 0. So, one solution is alpha is equal to 0, another solution alpha is 0. And the conjunction is and, so you have to take the common of both of them. The common is alpha is equal to 0. So, the value of alpha is 0. Next, I want to show another example, say... Say alpha square x is equal to alpha plus 1 whole x square plus x. Find alpha. Okay. So, you friend, see that on the left side also I want to arrange 0 x square plus alpha square x is equal to alpha plus 1 whole x square plus x. So, can compare both sides. The coefficient of x square and the coefficient of x square on the right side. And the coefficient of x on the left side to the coefficient of x on the right side. So, in the comparison, you know, the conjunction will be used and. Okay. So, 0 is equal to alpha plus 1. Alpha plus 1 is equal to 0 and alpha square is equal to 1. Alpha square is equal to 1. The coefficient of x is 1. So, from these x is equal, sorry, alpha is equal to minus 1 and alpha is equal to plus minus 1. So, you are getting two sets of solutions. From the left side, you see there is only one solution minus 1 and there are two solutions plus 1 and minus 1. 
since the conjunction is used and so you have to find the common solution of both of them that means common solution is only minus 1 so alpha is equal to minus 1 so I think you have understood all the facts of comparison thank you have a nice day